Now I need to find out a way if there is a record okay then we should insert otherwise we should update so for that I'm I'm, I'm trying to use a case transformation here how do I know if there is a record exist in a target table so whenever the value is present for a customer ID that means the record already existed when there is no value it's not present okay so for that I should take the I need to add a condition here case insert right lookup ID is not null then insert okay otherwise uh, update I'm I'm leveraging a default here. That means if there is, uh, if it is not null, if it is null, sorry, if it is null, then insert. Otherwise, it should update a record. Makes sense, guys. Okay, now insert. What should I do for an update flow? How do I do that? Now. I should update the same target right so use the same target right and now click on the transformation use mitch now click the flow in here click on the update path okay click the mitch transformation really click the mitch transformation I should not use Mitch, sorry, map operation. Okay, click on the map operation. Click on update. Click on the map operation. Here we need to discuss about the normal quotes, guys. Okay. I, I will discuss about this normal uh, you know op codes tomorrow morning. Let me close this off with this particular example. We can you know we shall discuss about the op codes. This is very interesting. We need to understand these op codes. Okay. There are certain limitations and certain uh, things in here that we need to uh, capture. So update as update. Right here whichever whatever the row is coming the input row will give this kind of op codes normal is nothing but it's just a normal you know it's it's always insert mode whenever we see any update you know we need to update as update so forget about all these things now i'm just discarding these things the rest of all i'll, I'll definitely explain these things which is very important now now a normal should get update a normal record you know query always takes normal and always produces normal output it doesn't generate any other opcode other than normal so as okay. so so the input for the map operation is coming as a normal but i wanted to update my target if there is any update at the source i need to update at the update in the target so what i'm doing was uh, what i'm doing here uh, is uh, normal as update so whatever normal rows that are flagged we need to update that's what i did you just need to remember this these are the options that we need to set in a map operation we have a set of uh, different op codes just discard rest all because uh, the flow is coming from the query and then the case apply normal as update 
that means whatever flow data that is coming as a normal if there is any change it gets update, updated okay now first time there are no records i am executing this flow and i'll show you the uh, example data as well fantastic okay Okay. Okay. Uh, guys, um, here what, what I have to do is uh, look up. See, in case transformation, we have an additional column called lookup cust ID. Uh, that lookup cust ID is not available. It couldn't able to match that one. So I need to take out that one. How do I do that? Ha place a query transformation. Okay. Just see. insert and have one more query transformation let's say update click on update in here okay click on insert in here okay so if we use more more than one query transformation the mm -hmm. performance will affect no will not affect because it it, it can push us at as much as it can to the database so query doesn't harm you anyways you can use as many times and number of times but make sure that you are not using data services functions within the query transformation see what happens is if you use the data service function in a query transformation first of all query transformation try to push down the code to the database as i showed you in your previous example right if it finds any see here it found actually a lookup ext function that's a data services function so it cannot it cannot push down to the database it can push up to the selection part of the query look at the query right so if we don't have any uh, data services functions anywhere in the design the entire code it can push it to the database it 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 exactly tries to push it down to the database as much as it can so uh, there is no harm in using query transformations you can use n number of times but make sure you should not have that particular query transformation should not have any custom functions or any database uh, sorry any data services functions it can have database functions it can push down to the database but it should not have any data services function the entire job will get executed in the data on the data services engine side okay i validated the flow in here uh, just to make sure that it should not have truncate and load option anywhere here okay uh, uh delete data from load is not there for insert and for update okay because i'm trying to insert and update the data run the job no okay see these are all the new records right you could see the op codes in here actually i'll show you the op codes these are all the new records no records are coming up in here no records are coming up in here because customer id is actually null here the lookup is returning a null value because these are the first time records we are inserting into it the customer id is null absolutely so this is a straight instance now what i would like to do is um in the initial customer thing here they filtered out customer id equals to 1 now i would want to load into less than 3 okay start debug remember we have already loaded in the customer dimension of region id 1 right now i would want to load the remaining set of the data 
just assume that this is an incremental load that we are doing and one record the region one should get updated now because the customer id is not null for that and then the uh, the latest customer id should get inserted few records should go into the insert mode few records should go into the update mode okay how many records that have come now region id 1 let me uh, you know we have around 9 records five records have already been uh, uh, you know into our insert mode already so let me identify see see all the five records are actually are going into update flow and region id 2 records are actually going into insert flow right so all these two records will get inserted and all these region id 1 records will get updated look at the op code in here please look at the pointer guys it's actually generating u u means update u means update so region id 1 records already been there in our customer dimension no these records are again overwriting with the existing data this is just to show the insert and update flow which is acid type 1 some people restrict uh, you know all the updated records whenever there is any change then only we update but this is just a example that i try to show you all the update records will come in here uh, since all of them are actually coming as a normal op code and here we are converting normal to update and then loading into table in this table this will get update this actual this particular thing will write a separate statement kind of update statement now uh, you know this is a demo of map operation we can discuss more and more about the map operation in future session If anybody has any questions, we shall discuss and close off today. Sir, uh, can we can can we just take a look at it? What we did, you know, from the uh, on the from the extract look of customer to on the flow that we have that that I'm, that we are seeing here. Uh, can we sure? Yeah, okay, just go, go quick overview, please. Sure, not a problem. Not a problem. See, what I did was this is a state table. state table initially loaded with a region 1 customer records okay i wanted to populate the same region 1 customer records into customer dimension for that what i did was i just verified whether the customer dimension has loaded those records already or not that means i performed a look up on the customer dimension table how did i uh done that so you just verify this one okay i created a customer lookup function here on a customer dimension table based on the customer uh, customer dimension dot customer id and the stage customer dot customer id i joined the table or you know i uh, did the comparison and i fetched the customer id from a lookup table just for my uh, you know another for the course of operation to identify whether the customer is inserted or not here what i did was i applied i used a case transformation to route the records if there are records present in my target okay if there is a customer id is a null then obviously it's a new record so i tagged it as inset otherwise it should update that's what i did so the update records will come into this flow and insert records will go into this flow i use the same target instance two times okay uh, i connected my a uh, query insert query to uh, customer dimension and update query to map operation since query transformations always take normal as an input op code and it always produces normal as an output op code so in the map operation i discarded all the different op codes and i just enable normal as update because i just wanted to update those records that's what i did that's it this is simple type 2 flow 
sorry type 1 flow using case and merge using query query case and merge and as well as lookup any do question need, guys do we need, why do we need to use case here i mean uh, why can't we directly use map operation uh i just wanted to route the records right if you use a map operation uh, we need to to only the only to pass the update records into update mode otherwise it come, all the records will come in here all the records will try to update in here because there were two options right one is first one was you said normal as an update uh, is there another option like i'm, I'm just trying to know like uh, within a map operation uh, if the yeah, record is right right good thing good thing actually see uh, query of query component always produces as i said uh, you know it always takes normal input and it always produces normal output so when i pass in here even if there is an update actually this is an update right if the customer yeah. id is not that means it has to update there is one particular attribute should be updated so if i pass both the things in here normal as update so it always generates only normal op code even the inserts are also comes into the normal op code updates are also comes into the normal op code i can't choose insert and update in here i could choose either one of them so that's so why i i divided so, the flow so what i'm what i was trying to see is if you just have the map operation what i will mm -hmm. do is i will have normal as an insert an update mm -hmm. as an update right update you know update of code will be generated by table comparison transformation this transformation you know whatever we did using the lookup we could use we could achieve the same thing using this guy okay but this guy this guy will only generate op code u and i none of the other transformation will generate op codes this guy only generate op codes u and i and u and i can be understand by map operation query transformation cannot generate i or a u even if there is an inset mode it just generate normal normal means inset but we need to say to inset that's why i used since it's a normal i just pass normal to customer dimension that means it's an inset mode i didn't change when, any of course any anywhere here when Can would we correct when would uh, when would we be getting uh, the other uh, things like uh, i know now even though we are getting update it is a normal scenario here and then we are telling it as an update to the target so what my question is what are the other option there we have other options right like an update insert when do we get those like sure sure i'll update that one i know i'll i'll, I'll give an uh, example for that sometimes what happens is if there is an update happened at source and you do not want to update at your target level but you would want to perform insert into a different table then use update as insert or if you are getting update and you would want to perform update you could use update you would want to delete you can choose update as delete the source is giving update of code and you would want to delete that into an existing table and you want to discard you could do all these options this is uh, this is on one target right not for multiple targets not for multiple targets yes okay i mean when when you are when you are asking for multiple targets it can have see when i wanted to perform update into inset or source have deleted one record the source now the table comparison has actually identified uh, there is a delete happened and now it generates the deleted record with a d of code what happens in here is d will be generated the delete of code will come in here the record will come in here if you want to insert the deleted record into a separate table you can say that insert delete insert so where do you say which table you need to insert we can we can we can put any other table sometimes 
you know we wanted to capture all the deleted records into a separate table we can we can we can use that separate table let's say uh, you know this is a separate table okay i wanted to insert in this table what you could do uh, deleted records should be inserted in this table okay but uh, in this table. where do you say that this insert should happen on the newly added uh, target table i mean this insert should happen on the employee table where do you say that where do you say that when i get normal update the customer underscore dim when i get an update uh -huh. uh, when i get the other one update the the employee table you know what i'm saying right 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 see whenever you see you saying where should i say that you really don't have to say that so map operation understands this one But you must um, have to have a separate flow. Like you know, does, I just showed you the shore. I just showed you the shore. I'll remove this one. You know what happens is here you can have uh, uh, one more map operation, something like uh, where is that? Have one more map operation. Let's say you identified some other row, and then you can say like this. Here you discard everything, okay, and say uh, delete as insert. if you are getting delete now if i say delete insert now this will uh, uh, you know this will kick me actually boss normal op code cannot give a delete statement you know uh -huh. the data that is coming from query data query component cannot be a delete op code it has to be normal only but assuming that if you have a table comparison here table comparison identified the deleted rows then all the deleted rows if you want to store it into a, a separate location then you could do that we can do that exercise definitely okay. map operation is very easy but you know a bit difficult to understand okay. there is can no you options you know absolutely there are just four op codes all you have to do is have to play with those op codes can, can you go to show me i'm sorry arvin okay Go ahead. Oh, sorry, Raj. Go ahead. Can you can you actually uh, uh, show the case again? I mean, how do you? Uh, I'm trying to understand how do you separate the insert and update. Okay, okay. Here you go. What I did was before the case, I just opened the query transformation. Here, what I did was, I took the customer ID from this guy. Okay. Okay. This customer ID has come in here by performing the lookup option. Okay, right. If it is, I join. If this is a null, that means it should be an insert. If it's not null, then it should be an update. Where do you say that it's a, it's an insert or update there? Here, lookup dot uh, sorry uh, uh, dot lookup customer ID is null. Then insert. I've added a label called insert. If it's not there, then the default row will be update. Oh, okay. Okay. So th this okay. label is what it is. We are getting into two branches, right? Right. This actually evaluates this particular condition. Okay. I the can first give condition any. is look up. You can give any condition. Yes. I'm 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 telling like the insert label and update label. We can give any name. I can tell Arvind one, Arvind two, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So that doesn't okay. mean. I mean, I was. what i was trying to understand is the update which you had there is not a standard uh, uh, it's not the a function or something okay no 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 see map okay. operation does the uh, update function it will have yeah. it will generate an update statement internally whenever you say normal as update it generates it I'll okay. show you that one as well. I'll show you that one as well. Sorry, Raj, right? you had some. So you guys are clear. I'm good. Raj, you had some question. Yes, Raj, go ahead, please. Sorry. on the screen on the screen that we are seeing here can we show me the uh, uh what we did in insert transformation update transformation update okay. transformation here, yeah yep right. here i did nothing i just removed you know excluded this lookup cast id column because 
this column is not present in my cust dimension okay right the lookup cust id is not present in my dimension so okay. i just exclude it because it's trying to compare it with my input schema and output schema so okay. it doesn't match so it thrown an error okay how about in the update same same thing i did nothing there okay all right i just excluded this column that's okay. it. Thanks. So Sudhir, your email address is Goda so Sudhir. Can you just think? Yeah, I'll yeah, I'll, 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 I'll write in here. Can you guys see this? Yes. And and you have anything you can you can you know you can always visit this site, and I've explained map operation very clearly in this. If you have any questions, any suggestions, please let me know. I'll do that. Dwhnotes.com is my uh, own site. You can go there and you can browse the SAP data services. There you will find the list of transformations. I haven't put all the transformations, but you could find the map operation there. Right. Anybody has any questions? I'm actually wrapping up right here. We have it's it's about to 12 p.m. I don't have any question at this point. Cool. I have a small question, uh, Sudhir. Did you record this uh, session today's session? Because yes. uh, I was lost in most of most of the part. <laughs> Because uh, you guys were too advanced and um, I'm kind of lost. I just want to see this again. No problem. It was yes, recorded, right? Did that. Yeah, it was okay. recorded. I just wanted to make sure. All right, thank you. So, <laughs> it's recorded. I just want to ask a quick question. A quick question. Hello? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, I ha I just want to ask a quick question to all all the guys here. I mean, how do we how do you guys are practicing? I mean, are we getting the ATL file from or I mean because I haven't done any exercises till now. What I did was, you know, I just went. To, I think uh, last uh, I think it was not last uh, last session we met was on Thursday, right? Before that, you know. Whatever we discussed, you know, whatever uh, I guess Ganesh and Sudhi showed us, whatever thing we did, I just followed that stuff, you know, and then I did practice on those stuff. So you know, so you got the ready to data sources is what my question. I think I think there is a there is a file in tutorial folder, I believe Ganesh showed us sometime in the first in the first lecture, I believe he showed us where to find those things. I prefer the second one, where to find the HEL file and then load the file. Okay. It's thanks. Okay. Thanks. Uh, so, so thanks thanks uh, where 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 can I find best best practices on your web website? Uh, website I haven't completely done with all my best practices, my dear friend. Uh, you know my time is very limited and uh, <laughs> I couldn't able to update uh, recent things. You know I have done a lot lot of things. Unfortunately, I lost my uh, repository some time back, so I have to build it from the scratch. I have to update. It's been there from last four or five years. So all of a sudden, you know, I lost my website. Uh, sorry, my repository, which I maintained for a long time. The best, uh, the real, real, real best practices. Uh, you know, I still have to restart the work. But you could find some of them, and you can have. If you have any questions, you can reach me anytime. Uh, the question I have is, how long do we get the the server access? Uh, you know, is server access will be there until the class is there, or 
any idea on that um that's actually in a question to either ganesh or someone else okay uh, i'm not actually maintaining them uh, i could summon uh, probably can answer they're asking about the uh, server access is it only when the class runs uh, you will get the server or okay you get the server access for two for about two months i believe from the day that you join okay uh please get in touch with uh, you know uh, ganesh about all those things and i'm leaving this now we still have to discuss few more components i think i'm clear with uh, you know uh, uh, map operation but i still show you some more exercises on that and we can close it off uh, we can tomorrow probably if i'm not there ganesh will take it up otherwise i can go ahead with this pivot reverse pivot uh you know effective date uh, key gen table comparison if time allows right and hierarchy flattening of these are the bit complex even if i say that you can't understand we can skip hierarchy flattening and map cdc operation how about the history generation are we are history we preserving yes we are touching them yes we okay. are touching we have to touch it okay other than you know hierarchy flattening map cdc uh, uh, we can pretty much touch everything okay data transfer is good option uh, uh, html pipeline is just nothing you know it takes 5 to 10 minutes to explain so uh, it's a very important feature though so we can we can discuss the remaining <laughs> Thank you.